When somebody picks on you, do you blow up? Hopefully not. Well, in this object lesson, we're gonna talk about your spirit, your attitude. Let's go. Has there ever been a time where somebody came to you and called you a name? That's not very nice. But what was your response? Did you turn around and call them a name back? What kind of attitude did you have? The Bible teaches in Proverbs 15, 1, he says, a soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. What's your response when bad things happen in your life? Our response as Christians should be good. Well, what would a good response be to somebody calling you a name? Well, one response would be a soft answer. That's what the Bible says to do. A soft answer turneth away wrath. My mom always told me this, it takes two to argue. We shouldn't argue with other people. We should have a good spirit. You know what caused the people of Israel to have a bad spirit? They weren't thankful for what God had already given them. God had blessed them over and over again, but they weren't mindful of the things that God had done for them. They kind of had that spirit of, well, what have you done for me lately? We shouldn't have that spirit towards God. Look, you woke up this morning. That in itself is a blessing. But sometimes we have a bad day. Have you ever had a bad day? Well, watch this. This balloon represents your spirit and my spirit, our attitude in life. Watch. So we should make sure that we stay focused on having a right kind of response. When somebody comes up to us and they aggravate us and they try to stick or pick on us, you see this little pick? Mm -hmm. This thing's gonna pick on this balloon. But you know, we should be one that when somebody picks on us, wait a second, what just happened? Yeah, it didn't blow up. Do you know why it didn't blow up? Well, it has something on the end. It's thick skin. You know, the Bible says, great peace have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. We should have an attitude of a soft answer. Now, is air coming out of there? Of course it is, it just got poked, but it's not like boom, no, it's a soft answer. The Bible says a soft answer turneth away wrath. And people may come up to you and they poke you, but what's your response? Is your response, well, 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 you're, and you blow up at them? No. You should have a soft answer. We should have, ugh. we should have that soft answer. Then later, just a few verses later, he says, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. You know, sometimes when we have a bad attitude, it's like a breach in the spirit. We gotta be careful what we say to others. We should not be the cause of somebody else having a bad spirit, nor should we have a bad spirit because of something somebody else said. We should have that soft answer. And one way to have that soft answer, you may not be all thick like the end of this balloon and you can handle everything that's said to you. Whoever said, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. They really don't know what they're talking about because words do hurt. They really do. But watch this. There you go. Oh, excuse me. He says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? With thy whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. So what is something that I can do to make sure that I don't blow up at people? Well, how about this? How about putting an extra layer of protection on you so that when somebody comes along and they call you a name or they pick on you or they make fun of you, that you don't blow up on them? What's this extra coat? You ready? What's that say? Yep, God's word. You know, we are supposed to install God's word inside of us. He says, I will hide God's word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So here's God's word, right? And when somebody comes along and you're covered by God's word, you're living by God's word, a soft answer turneth away wrath, right? So when somebody comes along, oh, wait a second, what just happened? A soft answer. A soft answer does what? It turns away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. You know, when your spirit is trying to be broken by somebody else, you should have a soft answer. Somebody comes along, they jab you, you say, oh, but brother Josh, now it's full of holes. But it didn't blow up at anybody. It still had a soft answer. Let's have a good attitude for the Lord and in front of others. You know, really people can't look inside of your heart to see what you believe. 
but they can see your actions and your reactions to things in life to see if you really are a Christian. So let's show everybody that we are a Christian by responding correctly. So when somebody calls you a nasty name, don't turn around and call them a nasty name bad. When somebody makes fun of you, the Bible says we're supposed to be able to turn the other cheek, right? And that does not mean their cheek, that means yours. So that being said, it's not as easy as it sounds, but have a soft answer. Have a good attitude. Oh, by the way, if you really like this object lesson, hit the like button, subscribe, and check out the other ones too. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.